Okay, this trick is found on page six of your workbook, and this is the multiplying by 25's trick. Let me explain this trick to you before we get started. Um, if you were multiplying a number by 25, it's very similar to multiplying the number by 0.25. In fact, they're going to have the exact same answer, but the decimal is going to be off by two places. So I'm going to call 25 0.25, and 0.25 is 1 fourth. So when I multiply a number by 25, it's a lot like multiplying it by 1 fourth or dividing it by 4. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the non-25 number and I'm going to divide it by 4. 64 divided by 4 is 16. Now here's an interesting little thing. Let's say you didn't know what 64 divided by 4 is. You do know what 64 divided by 8 is. 64 divided by 8 is 8. So 64 divided by 4 has to be twice as much as 8, so 16. So let's go back to the trick now. We called 25.25, which is dividing by 4. 64 divided by 4 is 16. But then I must add two zeros to my answer because... I called it 0.25, not 25. So my correct answer is 1,600. Let's see another example. 25 times 24. Take the non-25 number, divide it by 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And just like before, I called that number 0.25, so I must add two zeros. 600. There you have it, the multiplying by 25 trick.